please join in praying for the sick and homebound. Father of goodness and love, hear the prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry, my help, O Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today's uh, Holy Eucharist is offered for the soul of Deacon Bob Esposito, and also today we, we, we pray for all intentions of the All Souls. Novina. On the beginning, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the Book of Wisdom. Love justice, you who judge the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness and seek him in integrity of heart because he is found by those who test him not and he manifests himself to those who do not disbelieve him. For perverse counsels separates a man from God, and his power, put to the proof, rebukes the full hearty. Because into a soul that plots evil, wisdom enters not, nor does she in a body under death of sin. For the Holy Spirit of disciples flees deceit and withdraws from senseless counsels. And when injustice occurs, it is rebuked. For wisdom is a kindly spirit. Yet she acquits not the blasphemer of his guilty lips because God is the witness of his inmost self, 
and the sure observer of his heart and the listener to his tongue. For the spirit of the Lord fills the world and in all embracing and knows what man says. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. The responsial psalm, guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, guide me Lord, Lord, along, along the, everlasting the everlasting way. way. Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest, you scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. Guide me, Guide me Lord, Lord, along the everlasting way. way. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know the whole of it. Behind me and before, you hem me in and rest your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me and too lofty for me to attain. Guide me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the nether world, you are present there. Guide me, Lord. Guide me, Lord, along my everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there, your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, guide me, Lord along the everlasting Lord. way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone was put around his neck and then for him and to be thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and returns to you seven times saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. And the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, when I meditate yesterday and today this uh, gospel, um, you know, something came to my mind. Almost 15 years ago, when I came to the United States, uh, like the baby priest, I was two weeks uh, priest, 
and um, I didn't speak uh, any words in English. For the first moment here, I was so amazed that, uh, you know, here was everything different that I know from the European culture. That uh, it doesn't matter that I uh, spoke in English or not, but people were so opening, so friendly, so smiling, uh, so helping you on every step, whatever you are doing here. Today's world is a little different. Sometimes uh, if you are, you, we are afraid, maybe this is uh, just my experience, sometimes we're afraid, you know, to, to smile to the people, uh, to start talking with the strangers somewhere we are, because sometimes uh, people don't react like was before. They are not smiling so often, they are not so opening for any conversation, very often they are fighting, they are showing the, the, the hate, Sometimes they are saying something, what are you looking at? It's different. So this is maybe uh, for us something like that. In, from today's Gospel of Jesus, sweet reminder that we have to come back for the beginning what is so important about his teaching today. Forgiving. It doesn't matter that one time, seven times, 77 times, 7,000 uh, times, it doesn't matter. We need to forgive. And how we can do this? First, we need the experience how Jesus is forgiving us. We know that we are so weak. We know that we are sinners. We know a lot of, about our mistakes, our uncorrections. We know about that. But always we have experienced what the Jesus is doing. Wherever we are coming uh, uh, to him by the uh, sacrament of reconciliation, he's never um, making something like the, another lecture about how you uh, create something. No, he's just saying, okay, this is your small penance. Go, I forgive you. Maybe on this National Vocations Week, this is the good moment that we have to pray, uh, truly pray, for the new and holy vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Because, you know, I cannot imagine that we will be changing this world without uh, the two sacraments, sacrament of the reconciliation and the sacrament of the Eucharist. Because if I will be never get this uh, grace from the sacrament of reconciliation, how Jesus always is so forgiving and so merciful to me, how I will be forgiving and merciful to people around me? And second, the sacrament of the Eucharist. If I will be not, it will be not available for me to join every day for the Holy Eucharist if I need that. And I will be receiving this uh, gift of the Eucharist, of his body, of his precious blood. And I will be, you know, always so grateful for this amazing antibiotic for my sinful and sickness nature. How I will be, you know, react and how I will be live with people around me. So this is maybe the moment when we have to uh, uh, pray and begging Jesus for a lot of new and holy vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Because how we will be changing this world if we will be no enough priest who will be always preaching and showing us Jesus? I remember conversation something like a few years ago and different state, a different parish. And someone told me something like this, Father, why I have to pray for the new vocations to the priesthood and the religious life? It's enough for me right now, priests. No comments. <laughs> but you know, what about the next generations? What about uh, your kids, grandkids, grand-grandkids? What about the members of our families? What about our friends? What about the future generations? Today, 
Jesus is saying something like that. I am always for you. My heart is always open for you and always is full of love, forgiveness, and mercy. Please, do the same for people around you. Not just one time, not just seven times, but thousands of times. Because this is just one way how we'll be share his forgiveness and his mercy on the whole world. Amen. 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 Together, we present our petitions to the Father, trusting in his mercy and forgiveness. That the Lord may continue to bless the church on earth, making us greater in holiness and unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations in conflict in every corner of the earth may be led by the Holy Spirit to, place, to a place of peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who struggle with physical, financial, or other burdens may be granted relief through grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here may continue to grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of the faithful departed may soon rest in the eternal peace of heaven let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world and for the suffering souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. If any special prayers or petitions we have in our prayer book or any special prayers or petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. God. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for true goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the fall of the soul of the church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in the mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as true beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, order, redeem, praise you, 
and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extort you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign 
forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly powers have entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth and open peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God and trust with his only Son, in you Mary place her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph to us to show yourself and Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you so much and blessed day for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.